I'm originally from Bosnia. When I was 16 years old, I lived through a genocide that left 250,000 people killed and millions displaced. To make a long story short, my family and I, along with 60,000 other civilians, were stuck in one part of town and surrounded by two armies. We had no food, no water, no electricity, no medicine, and no outside contact whatsoever. And we were bombed constantly. Every single day, about 10 to 15 people were killed or injured. One day, I was hanging out with five of my friends and a rocket-propelled grenade exploded about six feet from us. It killed all of my friends instantly and I was severely injured. Without any medications, a couple days later, my leg had to be amputated without anesthesia. Without proper medical care, the only way to fight the raging infection in my body was to cut the flesh off daily. I only had this teddy bear for pain. After I was injured, my dad was injured and his bed was in, a, in this makeshift hospital in the hallway and they carried me to his bed and, and they said, you know, I had 20 minutes to decide whether I would leave or not. And in that 20 minutes, we had like a family meeting. My dad and my mom and I talked and whether I should leave or not. And at this point, I knew I had to go. In order for me to survive, I had to leave. I was already seeing yellow, I had high fever, and I had stopped eating a little bit of soup that they used to bring. As we sat there, I told my dad, I said, I know that if I want to live, I have to go. But I didn't want to leave everything I knew behind me. I didn't know when and if I would be back. What would be happening? I didn't want to have my life without my family. I didn't want to live without them. Who cares? I would much rather die with my family than live somewhere in the world by myself. And that day my dad promised me, he said, I don't care where you are in the world, I will find you. I will find where you are and we're going to be a family again. But right now, the best thing you can do for our family is to leave to take care of yourself. And that's how you can help your mom and me. I realized that I was willing to do things for them more than I was willing to do things for others. And I think we're often um, in that situation where we don't help ourselves, but we will help someone else. And that for me was something that helped me make that decision to leave. Having to face everything after, I mean, having over 100 surgeries and having your leg amputated and not knowing where you're going and dealing with everything that's new, leaving your heart and soul behind. I had this conversation with my dad about my injury and what would happen. He said, imagine this. He said, imagine when you go and you get a prosthetic leg and you learn how to walk again. Now you're walking and then you come back home and all of these people that know you, all of these people that saw you injured, all of these people that saw you on the brink of death, you come back and now they see you walking. But you know what you gotta do when you're walking? Just as you're walking up that street, I want you to start running. Because you know what? That's going to floor them. You're going to go from walking to running and they're going to they're gonna be amazed at what you've done. And it was that vision that I carried with me the whole time that I knew that when I, didn't matter how long it was going to take, it didn't matter what I had to do, but I knew I had to go back home so I could show all these people that not only that I survived, not only that I can walk down that same street again, but that I could start running. It took me 15 years to learn how to run. And for you in your lives, there has to be something that you really want that might take that long. It doesn't matter because I can tell you that that sweet moment of victory is well worth it. The reality of life is that we all go through experiences, whether it's running a business, whether it's being injured, whether it's getting diagnosis that someone has cancer, that we have cancer, or some kind of horrible disease, that our kids are sick, or getting some horrible news, no matter what it is, all of the life problems are really universal. We all run through 
the same motions, desire to reach the goals and to be the best that we can possibly be. So whether I am trying to survive on my own in the middle of a genocide, whether I'm fighting for my life, or whether it's you trying to make the make your business work, work with your employees, save your marriage, it all requires same tools for us to succeed.